the GSL. Paceless. Artosis. I am, I could be one of these production guys because I kicked cord out and my mic went everywhere. Yeah, and you I almost broke the set on that break, I, buddy. I looked down at the thing and I lined it up with what yours looks like on that side and I plugged it in hoping that everyone could hear me and they can. Yay! Now, Artosis, it's an important moment. Is it? Because somewhere, because the show is so successful, somewhere in the world, a nerd with his nerd at yeah. his first date, all right? They're watching GSL on first date. Watch, Ooh, watch nerd, you GSL. made a good move. But now it's time to go in for the kiss. Oh, and the no. nerd's little heart just been... <laughs> they both looked at each other and then looked away. Both got a little bit red. Now they got to move in. That awkward, like, it takes, like, five minutes for their lips to be. It was like... It's like trembling. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that nerd set though, man. No Bringing teeth, a nerd man. to see uh, no GSL. Teeth, because, yep. It's round of four, man. She's got to watch if she doesn't like it, man. You drop that nerd. She's not a nerd. It's a regular nerd. girl. That's right. Don't want none of nerd those regular chicks girls. Artosis. Yeah. Nerd chicks are the best. <laughs> so true. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh. It's time this. for some Terminus reaction. It's time we got our Ninja Turtle green over here on the Razor headphones. Whoops, no, I said that in turn. Wait. Oh, All right, it's time. Is Bolt going to come back or is Top going to close this out? Let's find out here at the GSL Super Tournament. In the red, the color of roses Ooh. and blood. It's romantic. Yeah, rose. We have Porto Prime Wii. Look at Bolt. There he is. Stop being so good looking, Bolt. All right, over here in the center left. The yellows. Color of Yellow. daisies. Color of dandelions. You would ch choose a weed plant, wouldn't you? When I was a kid, I would uh, collect... I would pull the dandelions out of my grandma's uh, front you know, front area of the yeah. house, whatever the hell you Yard. call this, and give them to her. Like, so that they were flowers, but it turns out I was actually just you know pulling what? weeds out of here's, her lawn. Here's a little fact for you, Tasis. They were flowers. People classify them as weeds because they take over areas aggressively. Well, that's because dandelions are the but zerg they are of flowers. flowers. They're the zerg of flowers. Yeah, they spread. They spread. Spread their creep with their little jaggedy leaves. Yeah, man. Kill all your grass. Well, if I remember right, the way weeds work is they actually just consume all the uh, the water from the roots, right? Well, the other plants. I think actually the way they, they work is they just they they keep on reproducing and moving around, and they take up the sun and just drown everything out. I'm pretty sure that's. Actually I thought it had more to do with the, the, the water with the roots. I, I'm pretty sure about this actually. Well, I'm pretty sure about what I said. So well, I fine. guess. But you're wrong. But you're dumb. <laughs> Wow, you don't have to make a personal tasteless. Jeez. Jeez. You can tell that Tasteless is really angry at Artosis today. He lost his passion years ago. <laughs> Just doesn't have the passion. Doesn't I heard the his passion anymore. anymore. There's no more passion. <laughs> I think I'm a psychologist. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Hey. Top is making his command center as natural. Pult making it in the main base. All right, this is interesting because these guys are doing very similar builds. The yeah. only real difference um, you can see right away is that Pult is a little bit more cautious. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you that's know. fine. I mean, that's totally yeah. fine yeah, I'm cool in this situation. It. Both players getting double gas. So they're doing exactly the same build, just one player with his command center outside. Now, unfortunately, Top gets to start out with a lead here because since they're doing the same thing and his command center is at the expansion, he gets to. He doesn't yeah. have to worry about that floating time. Yep. Exactly true, Tasteless. So everything else is the same. Pult does start his second barracks first. Will we see a second barracks from top right away? I'm not SDB sure. Ready. Hard to say. And no information gained. But likewise, Pult is likely to gain no information, aside from the fact that the Marines will be out in front, which is going to lead him to believe it's an expansion, especially on this map. It's a reasonable thing to think. All right, the command center is almost done here for both of these guys. And uh, one thing to note is that uh, you know they're fairly close. This is a big map, but considering you know the way the role that medevacs play in Terminus Terran and Banshees, uh, this could turn into a slugfest pretty quickly. It could. We have 
Well, two barracks factory for Pole. One barracks factory for Tall. Getting that reactor. This is pretty exciting, Tasis. Pretty exciting. Yeah. 23 SCDs both. One so, of these, so close to each other at the moment. One of these guys is going to be in the finals. Yeah. You it's know going what? to be like a finals like we've never had uh, before. We got MMA, and I don't know. These two guys are, are new to yeah, which is semifinals. Yeah, and that's weird because like just about every finals has had someone that was in the finals before it after season, I don't know, two, three. Yeah, after well, season three. You know, uh, we're more used to having these sort of uh, kind of super legends like MMA or MC, and it's uh, is it going to be the new guy that's going to win, or ST. is it going to be the, uh, the the kind of established guy? But how badly case, will the guy getting his second championship destroy the other guy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what it's kind of been. Well, we have Blue Flame being researched by Top. Looks like Bolt will go for Banshee. Banshee versus Blue Flame. Cloaked Banshee versus Blue Flame. Good thing Blue Flames can't cloak. Imagine that. So all your, your all your workers just disappear suddenly. It's like, oh, you got me. They're ah. just blowing up for some reason. There's Blue Flames oh, everywhere. <laughs> now this is uh, one of these maps. It's basically impossible to do a hard contain. Yeah, you have to do pretty soft much. contains. You run around. The map's just simply hold this too position, big. move out, go to this position because yeah, yeah, as Arto said, it's so big. And if you look at the uh, corners of the map, there's so much space. There's no real way to stop somebody from using medevacs unless you have Vikings chase them down. Banshee's being produced. First Banshee will go over. Now, Cloak is not quite done. So if he goes too far and Top catches it with his Viking, things could be very bad for Paul. You do not want to lose one of these Banshees right away. And he's flying right in to the Viking range. Will Top realize and micro this? Will he catch him? No, he turns That was around. a good response by Pull. Yes. Normally, if you Very have a Viking important. encounter a Banshee, the Banshee dies instantly. Well, uh, Top making his turrets. Knows what's going on. Being very careful about everything. Um, here comes the Hellion drop. Now, if he can get now, all the Hellions out, it would be quite nice. No, he's going to drop behind the minerals. That might uh, act as a filter for the Marines. So he, this, uh, even though Pull Prime is somewhat prepared, this still could get ugly. Those Marines in there. But if they all clump up. Oh, that was a beautiful line he could have hit. Well, he's going to try his luck at the expansion. Uh, Look at Pult, man. Pult is not interested in losing any of his stuff. No. Well, <laughs> that would be a weird interest to have. I know, man. Blue Flame Hellions do make it out. Poked. Banshee. I was going to say Poked Hellion. I'm like, no, we just went over this. There's no such thing. Uh oh, it's almost out of energy. And the energy goes out. Switch scan. Does go down. Good number of kills. It's though. actually uh, insane. Kills. It's actually insane how fast um, they fire, you know? A Banshee is just so much damage so quickly. Now, uh, it looks like Pult's Banshees did not do enough damage for the strategy to be deemed effective. And even though uh, the Hellion drop didn't kill a lot of SCDs, he at least saved the Hellions. He only lost one Hellion with that. That's really not a lot. Paul now seeing exactly what's going on here as he loses that Banshee. It is going to be four factories on two base. The third command center is being made. Look at this. Another Hellion drop. Nice. Yeah, they uh -oh. lined up. Oh. oh, sick right there. Trying to kill off a few more SCVs before this Marauder gets them. Maybe it won't even get them. Nice there. Um, he could have saved those, but still, he took out a lot of SCVs. Both players taking their third bases at the same time. 49 SCVs for top, 37 for Holt. And I am loving top's position, Tasteless. He's going mech. He's got a good number of Vikings out. These The Banshees haven't done enough. And, oh, we're going to have another Blue Flame Hellion drop in the main base of Holt. But there is a Marauder there, so he picks up and gets out of here. Peace. Well, um, Holt, you know, this game's starting to look a little bit like our uh, our previous game. It's not uh, too one-sided, but slowly but surely, Top is starting to kind of come out on top. Yeah. That's what his name does imply. For those of you guys um, 
you know, that obviously aren't familiar with uh, how Korea is. You know, Koreans use the, the term top quite a bit, actually. Yeah. When describing, uh, you know, who's the best, it's something else. Well, he's like top, top tier and stuff like that. So, very ambitious kid. Had that name since the beta. All right, we do have Blue Flame Hellions coming down. Ah! Okay, that was bad. Uh, oh, what are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, the uh, Hellions are pretty badly hurt. It looks like uh, Bolt has decided he's going to move out now. Uh, Top had a uh, supply advantage, but that's gone yep. away because he lost all I, the, the Blue Flame Hellions. If he had all those still, he would win this this war oh, right here. But mode. as is, I don't think he does. You know, he's Top's getting a little bit sloppy. Well, has a better army right there. Yeah. He's got to. Top has to be so careful. More Blue Flame Hellions trying to run through. Ooh, that would have been nasty. That would have been sick, nasty, tasteless. Sickest fish tilted on the river, <laughs> as a <laughs> poker player would say. Uh, I love that. <laughs> it's actually so funny. He's fishing. He's, He's fishing, fishing harder, harder. Tosis. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Marines Marauders see Shanks moving out now. Pult very confident with his army. <clears throat> well, both players have their third bases up. Top those 68 SCVs against 48, so he's got much better economy. Pult walking around with this uh, pretty powerful army right now, but Marauders nice are here. He can dart forward, soften up the tanks, the bag away. But look at all these Vikings took out the medevacs. Beautiful. And this move is there. the beautiful thing about the way top plays is with the, the siege tanks with the Vikings. Uh, players oftentimes are inclined to get Marauders to beat the siege tanks fine, yep. but then you don't get to protect your medevacs, which means oh that uh, you come out on top. And well, that's exactly what top is doing, killing some of these siege tanks of full. Holt is losing position. He's just staying with this old school strategy. And Top is going mech and doing it overall very patiently. And that's the main thing about mech. A lot of players have a hard time with it because you actually have to be so patient. There's a lot of times where you're going to think, oh, Holt's getting ahead. But eventually you just have this siege and count, this Viking count that can allow you to get into a position like this. You know, uh, before I was saying it's really the macro that was allowing Top to win this. But I do think after seeing it this game again, uh, Top's decision to get this mixture of units compared to Pulse is really where the advantage is coming out. Yeah. I think Pulse is sort of at a loss. Frankly, I think the best way to do this would actually be to not get siege tanks for um, for Pulse, just to go Marauders and try to just overwhelm him. Do like a Marine King Prime style, but with no Marines, just... You know, having um, just a few siege yeah. tanks is like, he's trying to play positionally, you can't... You can't play a positional C chink battle against someone who has four times your C chink down. Now Pult is going to be walking around. He's going around the Mako reactor on the map. Well, he's got to get something done here. I absolutely have to. And he's walking behind the C chinks. In fact, oh my God, he's going to sandwich. And when he sandwiches, Top is going to lose he's every C chink. He's going to make a third sandwich. Uh oh, Top is dead, man. He is so dead. Unseaging here. Siege and backup doesn't matter. Right uh -oh. now, Polt can either hit the main or sandwich that army. Beautiful move by Polt, running around. And for like the umpteenth time, I have some nerd chills. Great move by Polt. Look yeah. at this. He has some in defense. <laughs> oh my god, I think Polt might have this. Top was ahead for a while. Now he's 50 supply out of his opponent. And here's the beauty of it, just having the Marauders. You can stem and just run from these siege tanks. They're faster. Yeah. And all of them so badly hurt now. Eventually it will be cleaned up. But Polt can take an amazing position. It is now Polt's SCV lead 51 to 48. And Supply Polt, lead 141 14. He can now go in here for a brief contain. Yeah. May as well. How's Top going to push out of there? I don't know. He's he's not going to. That's how it is. Oh, he's just going to kill yeah, it. Yeah, and I think this might actually work. Just spreading those out. Beautiful spread. And that is going to be it. There's just no way for Top to actually come back from this. Just keep going. Stim those Marauders you know, again. Sea tanks take a long time to make. So when you see them all get destroyed like this, it's pretty huge. Top the landing Vikings is landing. We know that's not going to turn out very well. I get well. Sea Shank Marauder with Stim. Yeah, not really. Top. Gonna have to GG, Tasteless. GG. GG. 
Fuji. We're going on to the rubber match. Oh my oh, god. Like I am such a bad He's like, thank god. Oh my god. All right. Two to two. Once again, we're going on to the fifth and final game. These matches stay so close, so good. I see Marine King actually walking up to Colt's booth and he's gonna give him some tips. Be like, I resist resistance. You know, when you think about it, Marine King actually is just as, uh, like, Clyde and Nada is actually always. Yeah, he's very, very consistent, you know? Very consistent player. But he has fallen down that path. He's gonna give the uh, rubber mat jiggle. Yeah. Back rub there. Do what I could not. He yeah, just goes man. behind him and his eyes turn red. He's like, yeah. <laughs> like some crazy puppeteer. <laughs> All right. Bob getting a little bit nervous. He uh, definitely misplayed. Overextended siege tanks. Again, you have to play so slowly and methodically carefully. You got to be patient, man. No holes, Tasteless. It's not a barrel. Even one hole is bad. Well, that depends what kind of barrel, you know. I haven't got nothing. I was trying to make some kind of joke where you know you see the guy wearing just the barrel, you know what I mean? But now I got nothing. <laughs> Sorry, Artosis. Ah, Artosis. I got nothing. All right. It's time to go on to the final match. Who will move on? I frankly don't know at this point in time. Well, on this map, there's no telling, not knowing. Crossfire. Crossfire. All right. So. I think that Top has a good chance here. If Bolt the, tries to go Marine Marauder tank, the bat on this map. Is that the song they do with uh, Transformers song? Same notes. Is it? Transformers. Robots in disguise. <laughs> I remember that. It's roughly the same note set up. Or the needs the eye. <laughs> it's not as good as the X-Men soundtrack. <laughs> 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 Let's go to our final match. Top against Bolt. The winner goes to the finals to face MMA for our largest prize purse yet.